Well, hi guys, nice Hello. to meet you. Hello, you too. Um, I was just wondering, do you remember what age you were when you, you met Dan? When I'm, I guess we were about 17, 18. Mm, yeah, I would have said 16, 17. 16, 17. Like around 17. Do you recall what, what was his favorite band at the time? When you first met each other? In <laughs> <laughs> You would say that. Yeah, I, I used to love a, a, a band from England called In Me. And, um, I don't know, I can't. No, no it, it, probably, really. it probably wasn't. Was it? Actually, I liked them until I was about 15, so at that point. It's probably past that. I don't know, I don't really remember. Do you recall what was his? Well, um, his favourite band of all time. Well, his two are Blink-182 and Taking Back Sunday. There you go, he knows me so well. So I'm guessing it was either or both of them. Yeah, it would have been. Yeah. But at what occasion, was when you, when you first met him, was it on a concert? Or it's a just for other friends. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, there's a lot of local shows where we live and um, we just went to the same shows and with it's people who knew other, each other. other friends, we just kind of got acquainted that way. And then, and he lived like right next to my school, so I could use him as an excuse to, you know, to, not to, to miss lessons and, and go out for lunch and stuff. So um, yeah, it just started from that really. And then that was, we were friends for a long time before and the band started as well. Because what yeah. was the thing that you, you used to do then before the band got started? What, what was the things when you did when, after school together? Yeah, what did we do? Well, I, always used to, I just used to jam with other friends really, like at school. Yeah, he, he was in a band before me. We never really but did much musically, did we? No, that was it, I played football and just go out to like gigs, go, go to concerts and stuff. Yeah, uh, uh, but what was the first moment that you, you said you didn't start making music straight away? But well, what was the moment that he, he was in a band and I, w I was, I'd taken up something, um, I was playing it at school in so sort of school bands, um, but we didn't really bring it together until, I guess, until... Um, so like 17. To, in a few years. When we met, and we just started jamming together, yeah. Can you, re can you recall that first jam, what was, was there already something that you thought, hey, this can work out between us, musically? No. no? It was probably a Taken Back Sunday or Blink-182 song you got your way. Probably just like doing covers and stuff, yeah. and then we just start, then started like doing original material and like writing and stuff. But, but did you conv have to convince each other of, of certain things that you want to cover, or was...? Well, I, think, I mean, Danny played drums as well as, as doing vocals, so we kind of had just songs Yeah, I used that, to like get behind the kit sometimes and like So just songs that drums I was well. liked, you know, playing, I guess. We're like, can we play this one? All right, but only if we can play this one after. And then, you know, we just found kind of bands that we both like playing and then... I mean, yeah, like, there's only so long you can play covers and it's like you get, you know, you get used to jamming with each other and like, you get some more people in and then you're like, should we just, you know, should we write some stuff? And you know, let's, let's do our own stuff. So, I mean, we probably only jammed covers out for, you know, a small amount of time overall. But it's so long ago, you know, yeah. we, don't, we don't get asked questions like this. Oh, I mean, it's good maybe to go back sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Is it for you, can you remember maybe then, last question about maybe the, the past, uh, <laughs> what, what was your, the first song you, you wrote together? Um, was, it was, was it Save Me? Well, I mean, me and Danny were in another band before We Are The Ocean. Uh, yeah, so so as, yeah, in We, we Are The Ocean, it was that. Save Me Said The Saviour, mm -hmm. just like a song that was on our, uh, like our EP that we put yeah. out. Yeah, that was, that was the first song that kind of got recorded and released as well. I'm sure there's countless bits we wrote and then scrapped. Yeah, then. there's other things where we were just messing around. But do you, do you, uh, are you together often when you write or you, you write on your own and then present stuff to each other? How does Sometimes, it like, like Liam will write a lot on his own. Um, and, then, but, and then usually we just kind of all meet up in our rehearsal space and just like jam through ideas and stuff and, and work on things together. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, a, it's a kind of trial and error process, a lot of it, where you know, someone will bring an idea through that they've jammed in their own and then if we like it and then we'll all work on it or we'll say not really keen. So it's, it's both really, it's both writing together and you know, having ideas at home on your own. Who's the most critical in the band when it comes to uh, turning down ideas? It, it depends, I mean... I we all have... We all know what we like and we don't like. Mm -hmm. I mean, because like I said, Danny used to drum, he's probably more critical of uh, drum things he doesn't like than I am because I know less about it. But generally, you know, we all like, we all know what we like and don't like. If there's something that's not us, then we'll say that doesn't sound right. And, mm -hmm. you know, we're all, we're all on the same wavelength, so it's not really, it's not really one person, so. 